you see, this wind's supposed to be like this. <laughs> Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a meteorologist. <laughs> Mom, I think. <laughs> Did we offend the wind gods? Okay, 41 kilometers. This is where it starts to get interesting. Because we're past all of the townships. And the vibe is just shocking. This is crazy heavy oatmeal, heavy food. This highway goes straight into Winnipeg and straight out to Grand Murray on the lake. And if I want to ride this. This is what I look and looking at coming up behind me. And that is too much traffic. This ride is perfectly fine. Same with the one on the other side. And yeah, like okay. So I add, I add a few miles, but I have a windbreaker for one thing. On both sides here. This, this wind is really coming through here from the east. I'll say a few prayers. I'll try to avoid this. If, so I gotta do one half a mile, call it half a mile. Gotta do half a mile here, and then I'm gonna do a few more miles way up there and that's all so I'm doing like less than four miles of this 60 mile stretch over here it's spectacular no wind here and there's these two trees here not good for a rain roof, but it's not gonna rain. There's a parking spot. <laughs> There's <laughs> the uh, storage closet up here. <laughs> That's a clothesline. No. The wind's blowing in pretty pretty steady here and last night we tested one of two kind of half sewn walls this half is just pinned right now you'd see the wind blowing up against this thing okay i'm gonna keep working on this on this side the whole bottom is sewn through this polyester webbing. The top is sewn to polyester webbing up to here. This is just pinned down here. That's pinned down there. So I'm going to sew this to finish this wall. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. This ground stuff is dirty, it's dirty, it's sloped, it's wet, water runs through, it's got its sharp things, roots, twigs. Uh, so you get off the ground, and then you get out of the wind. So you unhook this curl in, you hook it back up. <laughs> My little pockets weighing it down flying but 
you actually look at what's happening here, it's pretty interesting. Because what's not happening is the net isn't blowing in on me. And that's because, oh, this pole. quite finished this yet. Everything's a work in progress. So the poles are holding this net away from me. Because what's not happening is the net isn't blowing in on me. And that's because oh, this pole quite finished this yet. Everything's a work in progress. So the poles are holding this net away from me. A smucker's hitch is a knot that any smuck cannot tie. <laughs> Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a meteorologist. <laughs> I was just like, this, this, this wind wall is pinned down at like about six points, so I could sew it like that. Come on, let's have a look at this wind wall. So, side is open. Mattress. The mattress is down here. The human is here. Oh, okay. okay, this is scary, Keithy. These trees are cracking. So there's. This is the east side of the steamer. I'm running up this sand. And. Up here, <laughs> got oh, these are big boy cops. Boy cops. She's cracking. Damn, I'm perplexed. I have never seen this. The sand is in motion. I love watching when people just give up instantly. Three raindrops. Oh, that's it. I'm done. Mom, I'm angry. <laughs> Did we offend the wind gods? 
Did you forget to close, close the portal? <laughs> Excuse me, this wind's supposed to be like this. <laughs> I'm like... Like, wow. Okay. So, the top of this wall is sewn all the way. I just gotta do these little corners on the inside. That one is completely done. And <laughs> it appears to be just in time. This is really a spectacular beach. It's big. So over here, here's where it gets interesting. So all of that is sand dunes. The West Beach and the East Beach. Now this is transforming. And we've got these kind of shrubs. And this stuff just get ha gets hammered from the forces of nature. Okay. My quest is to find out what is all this stuff? What are those? What kind of trees are these that grow in sand? And what kind of nutrients are in the sand? This one's not doing too well. <laughs> these are all blown in. You have this one big tree in like the middle of Nothing. It's a big chunk. It's a foot and a half wide chunk. This tree is perfectly healthy and growing. So there's this dune here. This is this, this is this desert ripple effect that was forming yesterday from that wind, 60 kilometer wind. Looks just like you see in the Sahara or something. So the beach crafters made this huge shelter. Look at the size of this thing. It's absolutely massive. So here's the haven with the new wind barrier walls. Now I just put this Sea to Summit box net, modified box net on here. With the poles inserted, this becomes a whole nother animal because it is a box net. I don't see anyone else doing this. Here in the haven, in the bug free zone, in the wind free zone, the walls, I can roll these up and they just kind of disappear. So we got here is carnivore meal. This is not uncivilized, it's portable civilization. <laughs> so we're taking the sink with the dishes, a dry bag to stuff it all in. I got soap, a sponge, towel. Right across the dune is our top. That windstorm last night was downright scary. And this is perfectly calm, it's perfectly empty. So, this is Highway 59 South, two way road, 100 kilometers per hour. And here's what's on the side of the road. Nothing. 
So, uh, there's about six miles of it that way. About three more that way. And then there's the same person's road. Indigenous prairie. Missing the missing this step in evolution. <laughs> Stepping forward. <laughs> so I may not be able to cross a gravel moraine or something. Like the hikers, you know, they can pretty much go anywhere. The climbers certainly go everywhere. Uh, but efficiency wise, this is incredible. Like, if I really don't want to push hard, I don't have to push hard. Ukrainian church. I have always wanted to look at it closer. But I'm always nervous there's, there's dogs around here. Stained glass up here. You can see an old electrical box. Those are handmade wooden frames. It's an electrical outlet right there. Over here, it's like a bunkhouse kind of thing. Again, you can see an electrical outlet. This one goes all the way, way up there. It's peeling off. This thing is just going to return to the earth. No one is preserving it. Not yet. Now we have this tower. Now, <clears throat> you have enough bear encounters and black objects on the road. They get your attention. Now, what I've discovered is most of them are not bear. <laughs> now, a, a bear, well, bears are a little more roundish, you know? They're not so squares. They don't have wheels. They don't have any grab handles. 1.30 a.m. Rolling into East Selkirk. This is kilometer 203. 10,817 miles. The road is named after Peglet. This is a prairie grass restoration project. I'm sorry, Toby. Are you all alone? 